In answer to more viewer questions, Premiere Pro, multiple projects, copy paste, yes. I recently did a video on how to do that dial spinner thing and I had a lot of questions on should I render the thing I create in Premiere Pro out? Is there a way to like repurpose this stuff? And absolutely yes, I was surprised at how many people didn't know that Premiere Pro allows you to work on multiple open projects at the same time and you can just copy and paste things between them with ease. Let me show you this. So here we are in Premiere Pro. I did this video about the spin dial. Let's just open that up. And it was a tutorial on how to do this little spin dial. Now many people asked me, well, do I render this thing out at full size? What do I do here? And some were surprised to realize that you can open copy paste between projects in Premiere Pro. Let's close this panel. I'm going to go open a recent video that I did for Basic Filmmaker University, which you should check out. It's called The Mindset of a Video Editor. Now, here is a completely different project. You'll notice here's the spin dial project. Here's the mindset of a video editor project. So let's say we go to somewhere in this video <laughs> where um, I accidentally click and it looks like I'm trying to get all zen with something. That's not what's occurring here. And I go to the spin dial. Here's the dial. It's nested into another thing with the background. The dial itself is nested into a bunch of assets and stuff like that. And that doesn't matter. Let's go over to this dial and let's just right click and copy this asset, that background we don't need. Now we're going to go over to this other project that I created. I'll target here. <laughs> that looks awesome. And I'm going to paste this asset in. Let's zoom up on that using the plus key. Now as you'll see, let's turn off the speech. As you'll see, I have my dial in here. I can go into my effects controls. I can reset it to full scale. This is one of the reasons why I say you should make these things in full scale. I can move it around. I can place it where I want it. And as I showed you in the other video, by hitting the R key, change the timing on this. I can grab this. I can make it a slower dial. I can make it a bigger dial. Now, when you have assets in your project, such as the video, such as the audio, these are files. And these files, let's go into here, I have all these audio files. Now, these all sit in a certain place on a hard drive. For instance, if I right click on this and I go find it, this is sitting here on a C drive in my university stuff. So if I copied and pasted these particular assets here and move them to another project, obviously it's not going to copy the media itself. What it's going to do is it's going to point to those files. But for this guy right here, the reason why we created all this, this was all created within Premiere Pro. It's using the effect time code. It's all essential graphic stuff, as you'll see in the last video. So here's what happens. Let's go to our spin dial project. You'll notice that close project or close all projects. There's multiple projects. Let's close the spin dial project. We're not going to save the changes. The spin dial project is now closed. It's not referencing anything and we still have this thing here. If I save this, it's going to be okay. Now, if you go over to here, you'll notice that this is a nest. If I go in here, it copied over that nest. If I go in here, it copied over that nest. It copied over 
this graphic. I copied everything over so I have no worries about it coming up with that dreaded can't find the media thing. And that's why we create all these assets in here. You just simply copy and paste them and it works great. Let me switch to another view. If you look in here, let's go into here and let's find in the project. Now look in the project and just so happens in the footage folder, it copied all the nests, it copied everything, it even copied this transparent video that I made this thing on. So if you're creating assets and you're creating essential graphics and you're creating things within Premiere Pro and you want to reuse them, just when you create a new project or you open another project, just copy and paste them in between your projects and you're good to go. All right, I hope that answers some people's questions about reusing these assets. That video I was talking about, the mindset of a video editor, go check it out. It's a free course over at Basic Filmmaker University, and there's plenty of free courses and assets and everything else. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I don't know. I'm looking at this jacket. It's, it's pretty green and neon and when I put it on, I didn't realize it was going to be that green and neon. Let me try this. Get some of the neon out. <laughs> Help me. I'm ahead in a jacket.